Hey there! Bob from Oregon's Constant Gardener. Welcome to the OCG Fam Show to you, my YouTube buddies. Hmm. What's going on? Let me know in the comments and we'll talk about it. And speaking of the comments, I, got, I want to show you something. Come on over. It's this one right here. That's me. And that's Sammy, our dog. And this is my bike. This is, says 79 on the shirt there, so it's probably 78, 79. So I was like 13, something like that. And um, my bike there, this was my, uh, it was a Mikado uh, Japanese bike. It was a nice bike. I love that bike. I love that bike because it was cool, but also because that bike was my, my wheels, my transportation to go everywhere. I'd get on that bike, most summer days, I'd get out in the morning and I'd head out and I'd be gone all day. I guess things really haven't changed that much. Instead of riding a new bike, I'm driving an old truck. My first stop is different. These days, my first stop of the day is to get a cup of coffee. But back when I was a kid, my first stop was there usually. It was my grandparents' house back then, and they've long since passed on, and uh, the house was sold years ago. But back then, that was uh, one of my major hangouts. I'd watch TV, raid the refrigerator, you know, and just kind of hang out with the grandparents having a good time. And we are meandering up to a point with this uh, trip down memory lane. We're just not quite there yet, so please bear with me. But one of the things I enjoyed most about my grandparents' house was that in the kitchen, when no one was looking, I'd sneak in there and there was a drawer full of baking stuff and it had chocolate chips in there and you know all kinds of stuff like that but it also had this and I don't think I've had any of this since then it had this little bag of uh, angel flake coconut sweetened and I'd sneak in there this bag would be peeled open it have the little roly-poly thing on it to hold it closed and I'd reach in reach in reach in grab a little handful of this Good. This is good. I need a little more. It's just a really nice memory, and I haven't thought about that time in years, probably. But uh, if it hadn't been for a question from Brandon Walsh, who knows when I would have thought of it again. Anyway, Brandon Walsh had a viewer question, so let's just get to that and uh, get on with the show show. So like I said, the question's from Brandon Walsh, and he says, I'm a little confused. I always thought cocoa was considered soilless and not soil, which would require a pH from 5.0 to 6.0. Am I wrong? So what Brandon's talking about is using this stuff, cocoa coir, as a growing medium. And the conventional wisdom being that when you're growing with coconut coir, you want to be in a range of 5.0 to 6. Lola, what's going on? Hey, wuggy, wuggy, wuggy. You want to be in a range of 5.0 to 6.0, but that conventional wisdom is based on growing with a, a salt-based nutrient, a synthetic nutrients. And in that context, with a synthetic grow, that's good advice. But if you're using this stuff, Nectar for the Gods, that advice falls all apart. Because while those synthetic nutrients are based on uptake of salts, uh, an NPK model with the Nectar for the Gods, the whole thing is built around trying to maximize the uptake of calcium. And the only way you can get that calcium that you're trying to maximize for is to have that in a pH range where it's available to the plant. And that's around a 6.3. So no, you don't want to be in that 5.0 to 6.0, no matter what medium you're in, if you're using nectar for the gods. So I guess we took a long time to get to a short answer, but uh, you don't want to take a little trip down memory lane. I hope you enjoyed it too. There's more to this and Scott and I, Scott actually answered this question on one of the viewer questions. So tomorrow I'll throw up a video that has this little piece in it, the short answer about it, what it is, and then also has that video of Scott talking about it more at length. And we're gonna get more into this about the calcium uptake and how that's important and how that affects growing with this as we go forward. But that's the show for today. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow. The OCG Fam Show, it's pretty good. It happens every day. It's the OCG Fam Show. See you tomorrow. <laughs>